suppose you're going to follow me around this entire trip? That's what I'm here for, Mr. Rector. Well, I certainly hope Dexter's private plane was able to shake any pursuers. It would be nice to only have to think about my job for a change, rather than being attacked. You worry about your job, sir. I'll take care of the rest. Hmm. who Captain Walker really is. I've started this dossier. Mr. Walker? Yes, Mr. Rector. Tell me about your time in the Army. What do you want to know, Mr. Rector? How old were you when you joined? Twenty. I knew I wanted to join the military, but if I finished college first, I could enlist as an officer. So I did. I enlisted as a second lieutenant right after graduation. How long were you in the military? Ten years. Why did you leave the military? I spent the last 18 months of my service training foreign armies to disable protesters. Their own people. I couldn't do it anymore. It's getting really bad out there. No worse than it's always been. No. Trust me, it's worse. What did you study in college? I have a BA in military history. You said you were from Indiana. Did you grow up there? Yes, I grew up in a small town. Didn't leave it until I went to college. You've never heard of an agency called Fita? Not until you took me there. I've made a few phone calls. None of my buddies have heard of them either. They seem to excel at staying under the radar. So. I take it you're supposed to identify a woman who might become Senator Markham's wife, and this is somehow tied to a Roman Emperor. I don't suppose you'd care to enlighten me. I can't trust anyone yet. I'm sure you can understand that. Sure, Mr. Rector. I get it. Tell me about your family. I thought we were on a need-to-know basis. I don't see how that relates to our mission. Sorry. I don't suppose you have any more brilliant jokes. Hell yeah! What's brown and sticky? Do tell. A stick. It's not really funny, is it? What about a wife or a girlfriend? I haven't been in one place long enough to have a relationship. That's all for now. As you say, sir. and this is my associate, Mr. Walker. We're here to see Caroline Alphonse. Please, come in. I am Brett, house manager for the Alphonse family. I received a call from the consulate that you were coming, but I'm afraid you must be disappointed. Caroline and her father are away for the weekend. However, I am at your service, monsieur. Hmm. Thank you, Brett.
Tell me about Caroline Alphonse. She is very special, intelligent, beautiful and kind. She is the creme de la creme in every way. Tell me about Caroline's father, Henri. Henri is a very important man. But you must know this already, eh? Exceptional businessman, doting father, pillar of the community, etc., etc. Is that about it? So you say, monsieur. I'm sure you know best. When will Caroline or her father be back? Not for days. Henri is out of the country on business, and Caroline is away for the weekend. Do you know where she went? No, she did not tell me. I'd like to see Caroline's room. I'm afraid that will not be possible. The consulate told you to cooperate with me. Did they not? They said you were coming. They did not say to give you access to the family's private rooms. I cannot allow it. That's all for the moment. Oui, monsieur. It's a fake, and not a very good one. It's gold leaf, and the urn itself is a modern replica. Tacky. This is a terrible forgery. I can see the seams of the plastic frame under the gold paint. Horrendous. Do you know what I find fascinating about this room? What is that? The astounding number of fake antiques. How long have you been stealing from the Alphonse family, Brett? I... it's not true. Come now. These aren't your ordinary knockoffs. These are fakes meant to replace very specific and valuable pieces. You've been having the fakes made and replacing them one by one. I don't suppose anyone in the family is smart enough to realize it. No, I... I do it for Madeline's sake. Henri cheated her in the divorce. She got almost nothing. She needed my help. Carolyn knows about it and she approves. But not Henri. Please, do not tell him, monsieur. He will throw me out and make sure no one will hire me. I may be able to hold my tongue, but you'll need to be much more accommodating. Oui, monsieur. Anything. I want to know where Caroline is and when she'll be back. Caroline won't be back until Monday night. She did not tell me where she was going, but... I had the feeling it was a lover's rendezvous. One she was not looking forward to. I'd like to see Caroline's room now. Very well, monsieur. I will take you there. a degree in economics from L'École Normale Supérieure de Paris. That's a prestigious university. It's a book about the Paris catacombs. Caroline must be interested in the subject. This room has a remarkable view of Paris. These are all current event and economic magazines. Caroline must have an interest in politics. That's excellent work. I didn't even notice the seam. Nice. I need the combination. It looks like it's six numbers. Perhaps a date.
This biography is very basic. According to the Mobius info from Dexter, Rarick was the founding father of the modern Mobius theory and worked for the British. Hmm. I haven't heard of Montfroy. Must be information about him somewhere. That's all for the moment. Oui, monsieur. I don't have anything to say to Mr. Walker at the moment. articles, a biography, things of that nature. If you mean the current Caroline Alphonse, she's much too young to have a biography. But there should be clippings from the press. Take uh, computer number two at the table over there. I'll send you what I find. Thank you. Do you have any information about Benedict de Montfroy? Let me look that up. There is something in the private archives, but access to that material is by invitation only. I'll pay. What's the fee? There is no fee. You must apply for a special grant and demonstrate the need for access. The process takes weeks. Would you care to fill out the form? No, that won't be necessary. Damn French bureaucracy. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. to a 43-year-old man when she was just 19. Hmm. Caroline's parents divorced when she was still a teenager. Interesting. Caroline's fiancé called off the engagement. I wonder why. I'll take a photo of these in case I need to reference them later. I think I know whose coffee this is. I'd like a closer look. 